In this session, we'll be reviewing how customers and partners can rebrand their CX Engage tenants and subtenants. CX Engage allows customers and partners to update the product name, tenant logo slash header, favicon, and color schemes. In order for a user to be able to customize a tenant product name, branding, and color scheme, they must have the manage underscore all underscore brandings role permission assigned to their CX Engage user role. Tenant branding is an inherited. If you brand a parent tenant, any child tenants will inherit the customized product name, branding, and color schemes. Child tenant product name, branding, and color schemes can be customized on a per tenant basis. To change the product name, rebrand or change the color scheme on your tenant, you will log in with a user profile that has the right permission to make these changes. Once logged in, you will go to the configuration and then tenant and select the tenant that you would like to customize. In the tenant configuration window, you will scroll down to the branding section of the tenant configuration. In this example, the Nova X logo for the Nova X Texas tenant is inherited from the Nova X central command tenant, which is the parent tenant. The CX Engage favicon can be seen on the browser tab when multiple tabs are open. The parent tenant name and tenant ID can be seen in the tenant configuration window. To customize a custom logo slash header, click on the Choose File button and select the image you would like to use on the tenant. The favicon configuration is the exact same. Click on Choose File, select the logo you'd like to use, open, and then that favicon icon will be shown. To modify any of the site colors, click on the configuration window Move the colors around the color palette and select the color you'd like to use for each one of these site colors. Once you have your images and site colors configured, click Submit to change the tenant overall look and feel. To restore your tenant's product name, branding, and color scheme back to its default values, go to Configuration, Tenants, identify the tenant you would like to reset, scroll down to the Tenant Branding section and click on the Reset to Default button. You will then click on the OK button to accept the tenant branding reset. If your settings do not reset immediately, please refresh your browser.